Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to look at how to write a myth and some writing tips. So let's get started. Before writing, what is a myth? A myth can be that of creation or a heroic one. A creation myth is an imaginary story that explains the existence of the world. A heroic myth, instead, is based on the quest of a hero to defeat a monster. Myths often include animals that talk, gods, goddesses, monsters, and other supernatural characters who have the power to make extraordinary things happen. So, step number one, brainstorming. Myths are stories that explain some kind of natural phenomenon or human behavior. Our ancestors found an explanation for incomprehensible things or events in these stories. In order to start writing your own myth, try using the following warm-up tips. They could help you begin to plan your story. So, Tip number one, decide on writing either a creation or a heroic myth. Step number two, if you decide on a creation myth, decide what your myth explains. Answer why or how of something. For example, the creation of the sun. Why does the moon appear at night? Why does it rain? Etc. This can be a lesson with a simple explanation on why certain things happen. Number three, if you decide on a heroic myth, decide what behavior your hero will teach. For example, be brave, be strong, never give up, etc. This can be a lesson with a moral at the end. Number four, turn your ideas into something unreal, fantastical. Your myth can be ridiculous and funny, and it should involve something that cannot actually happen in the real world. Examples. A mountain is created by ants hoarding food for a long time. A volcano erupts because underground beings left the barbecue on for long. Or a hero fights a giant with two heads to save people from eating them and being extinguished. Number five, if you are writing a heroic myth, create a hero. The hero of the story can be someone impressive and admirable or an ordinary person instead. Think about these questions as you write down ideas for your hero. Is the hero super strong, super intelligent, or incredibly talented in one area? Why does your hero have these special talents, if any? Did the, god, did the gods bless the hero? Did the hero train hard, or was the hero just born that way? It would be better if you added some flaws to your hero so that it seems more realistic. Number five, six, un, uh, brainstorm magical characters. Example, witches, gods, monsters, magical items, and imaginary places all make a myth entertaining and larger than life. Think about its setting. Your myth can be set in ancient Greece, China, Italy, etc. Myths are mainly set in the past, since they told stories about the beginning of time. Step number two, and here is your writing. So number one, write in simple, direct language. Use the past simple, past continuous or past progressive, and past perfect tenses. Indent the first sentence and double space your work. Avoid long sentences. Don't include your personal opinion. Number two, write in mythological style. Imitate the style of real myths. Use iconic symbols such as numbers, animals, characters, etc. Use the same structure for several sentences in a row. For example, 
Five days he went up into the sky, and five days he walked down to the to go to Gulag. Five days he was transformed into a snake. Give people a short descriptive epithet. Example: Dionysius, the wolf repeller, or Apollo, carrier of the bay branches. Number three, introduce the setting and protagonist. That will be your main character. Important. Again, set the myth in the distant past or a distant land. Use expressions such as once upon a time, long, long time ago, far away in. Describe the protagonist. Age, body, height, etc. Number four. Create a reason for the protagonist to do something. For example, seeing all the people dying, Beowulf decided to kill Grendel. Step number five. Continue the story. This is done by introducing a new character or a new situation or a challenge to create interest in the story. Number six. Finish the myth. Often, a myth ends with a sentence explaining why the story is related to the present day. Number seven, edit your myth. This is very important. Do not forget to edit your story. Go through it and correct spelling and grammar mistakes as well. Then have a friend take a second look in case you missed something. Add your, to your work literary devices such as personification, onomatopoeia, metaphors, and similes to make your story more captivating. Step number three, hand in. Give it a final revision before handing it in. Hand in your work to your teacher to give you a final mark. So, let's recap. Step number one, we talked about brainstorm. Step number two, we talked about writing. And the third and most important part is to hand in your work to your teacher. So, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have some questions, please write them under this video lesson. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you like the lesson, please click on the like. If you want to share the lesson, please do. Then, have a great day. Until next time. Bye-bye.